As their technology continues to advance, the line between speculative fiction and reality continues to blur closer and closer together. Hi everyone, I'm Sasha Wood, here to tell you about the selection of the team for the world's first head transplant right after the intro. Before we get started, I have to ask you guys what advance in technology has impressed you the most? Let me know down below. Sergio Canavero has been labeled a radical because of his belief that a head transplant is possible. He claims that this operation is within our grasp and believes that he can perform it in 11 hours. There is already a volunteer, a man named Valery Spiridonov. He suffers from the rare genetic condition Werdenich Hoffman disease, which gradually wastes away his muscles. This has rendered his body gradually unusable. And he hopes this operation will give him back mobility and prolong his life. So how this is going to work is both donor and patient are going to have their heads sliced off completely. At this point, it will be reattached with stitches and glue reconnecting the major arteries. This will most likely require the cooling of the head to the point where neural pathways stop firing in an attempt to preserve the brain. Needless to say, there are skeptics who do not believe that this is possible. However, there have been successful attempts in the past. Robert J. White performed this operation on a monkey in 1970. And while the transplant was successful, the monkey was paralyzed from the neck down. In 2002, head grafts were performed on rats in Japan. However, this was taking a head and attaching it to a rat that already had a head. So it was a two-headed rat but the rats did survive. If this is all sounding a bit like a Frankenstein story to you, which it is to me, hit that like button. However, Valerie is hopeful. This operation is slated to take place either in the US or China and should cost $36 million. Once the transplant is done, Valerie will be kept in a coma for one month in hopes that the head and the body will not reject each other. The donor body will come from a recently deceased cadaver. This is new territory. Nobody knows what Valerie will be like when he wakes up or if he will wake up at all. However, Canavero is passionate to the point of fanaticism. We must go to the moon to test who we are, to test our skills, to test our confidence, to see what kind of men we are. He hopes to perform this operation by December of 2017. Still, only time will tell and Valerie is nothing if not a willing volunteer. I'm Sasha Wood. Thanks so much for watching. This is Developing, so we're going to keep you up to date as it keeps going and when they perform this operation. Don't forget to like, share, comment, and subscribe. More videos over there, and we'll see you next time. Bye.